Then there are oil yielding crops like groundnut, mustard, sunflower etc. Then there are also pulses and beans, rajma, soya bean, moong, arhar and so on. And then there are also vegetables and fruits. The drip system is very good for vegetables and fruits. So this is how the agriculture goes on. And this is how our basic requirement of food is taken care of. Why do we need agriculture? Because unlike green plants, we cannot perform photosynthesis, which means we cannot make our own food. So we have to depend upon either plants or animals for food. So agriculture is not the only source of food. Another source of food is animals. You like chicken? So, there is poultry farming, then there is cattle farming and by which we get various types of non-vegetarian food. But just like plants have to be parented, even animals have to be parented. And all the animals which are kept and taken care of are called the domestic animals. And the way we take care of these animals is the science called animal husbandry. So animal husbandry includes feeding, heeding, weeding and breeding. With what does that mean? Their food has to be proper, their space where they are kept should be well ventilated, hygienic and food has to be nutritious and then if somebody is unwell, some animal is unwell or is a source of infection, it has to be removed and then there is also constant hybridization done so that we can have better variety of animals. So animal husbandry combined with agriculture takes care of our food needs. So how did you enjoy this chapter? Now, do you feel close to the farmers? How many of you want to have your own land and cultivate it? If everybody will become only doctors and engineers, who will grow food for us? And who will study the agriculture science? Have you heard about Dr. Swami Nathan? He was the pioneer in green revolution. He evolved new varieties. So, scientists are not only the ones who work in labs. Indirectly, they have done so much for the mankind. 